welcome back to the c programming lecture series and in this tutorial we are going to discuss how to get output in which we will get half pyramid of alphabets like this okay so we are going to understand its code how this will get generated with the help of c programming code so for that i have already written the code here now i will explain how these lines work and we will get output like that so for that i will start first of all i have i have uh, declared variables i and j which are of integer type i and j which are of integer type which can hold numbers only then i have created another variable input but it is character type i n p u t this is character type and alphabet is also character type another variable alphabet but i have initialized this alphabet as a i have given it a value a it is already initialized but input is not initialized we have to get values for input basically input what is this input the purpose of this declaring this input variable is that if you see a is my first character okay that is initialized in this alphabet but if you want to generate this series up to d so input will be here d if you want to generate this series up to e input will be e it is basically the alphabet in the last row so i am giving user a message enter an uppercase character you want to print in the last row so here message will occur enter this uh, uppercase letter which you want to print in the last row okay so this message will occur here and user will input some suppose we are going to generate it up to e so user will enter here e okay and that e will be scanned as a character and it will be stored in input variable so e will get stored here now our for, for loop will get executed inside this for loop there is another for loop so in this for loop i is initialized to one i will get initialized to one and what is the condition i is less than or equal to input minus a plus one you need to understand this condition so for that i will open up a website in which i want to find the ascii character ascii value of this a okay and ascii value of this input what is this input holding this is holding this e so i need to find the ascii value of a and e and ascii value of e minus ascii value of a i need to find the difference in terms of ascii value here so i will go to the website to find the ascii value you can type in google ascii value of you can type in google the ascii value of a so for this i will go here what is the ascii value for the letter a so here i will go to this 22 more characters you you can open any website so here is written that here it is uh, mentioned the ascii value of a this is basically small a and this is basically the capital a there are different values for small and capital letters so i need to find the capital letter ascii value because i have already mentioned that my values are in uh, uppercase okay so a is ascii value of a is uh, 065 and ascii value of e is 069 okay now i will go to code blocks 069 so this is 069 basically this is ascii value of e 069 minus 065 so i will calculate it here i will calculate it 069 minus because this is minus here 065 so the difference will be difference will be 4 okay there is a difference of 4 so 4 this is a 4 plus 1 so our value is 5 4 plus 1 because this is condition 4 plus 1 so this value is 5 basically okay this value is 5 now i is initialized to 1 and i is less than or equal to basically i have calculated this value this is 5 i is less than or equal to 5 yes because 1 is less than 5 so it will enter into the into this block so in this block there is another for loop where j is initialized to 1 i will initialize j to 1 and j is less than or equal to i condition is that j should be less than or equal to i this is not less than but equal to so the condition is true and this block will get executed where we are going to print the value of alphabet what is the value of alphabet this is a so this is print a percent c alphabet so a will get printed here and there is some space so that space will be here after that j will get incremented to 2 it will become 2 
but this time j is not less than or equal to i it is greater than i so the condition is false it will not enter into this block this time so it will reach here control will reach here and alphabet will uh, alphabet will get incremented by one so alphabet will become basically ascii value of a will get increment so this 065 will get incremented by one it will become 066 and that is the ascii value of b so i will directly write here b okay this is the ascii value of b so i will directly write here b okay now i have to move into the new line because i have written here printf slash n so our control will reach here into the new line after that after that our control will check will give increment to i so our i will become 2 okay and th this will be checked here that is this i less than or equal to i have calculated th this value which, which is basically 5 it will be checked is is this i is this 2 less than or equal to this 5 yes it is yes it is less than 5 the condition is true and this will it will move into this block where j is again initialized to 1 so this j it was 2 and it will again be initialized to 1 so j is less than or equal to i yes j is less than this 2 and our this line will get executed where uh, we will print the value in alphabet variable so our control is here and b will get printed here and some space will get printed space is also printed here and j will get get increment by one it will become two condition is still true because it is less than or equal to these are equal to and this code will again get executed where it will print this b again basically it is printing this the value of this alphabet which is b and this b will get printed here and some there is some space that will also be here after that j will get again incremented by one it will become three this time the condition is false this time this j is greater than this i so the condition is false it will not go into this block and alphabet will get incremented by one i will directly make it c i have to actually see the ascii value that gives me c so after that i will enter into the new line with the help of this statement so our control will reach into the new line and my i will get incremented by one again it will become three now i is now i is three and uh, three is i have calculated this value already as five three is less than this five and uh, j will get again initialized to one one and j is less than or equal to i yes one is less than or equal to this three so this line will get executed so here print f percent c alphabet so alphabet has value c so c will get printed here after that there is some space here space will occur here after that uh, j will get increment by one it will become two and condition is true because two is less than this three here condition is true so again this line will get executed which will print c again here and some space again j will get incremented by one it will become three and the condition is true again this line will get executed which will print this the value of this alphabet which is c again here okay and some space here after that uh, j will become four but this time the condition is false because four is greater than this three so it will not enter into this block right now and it will move here our control will reach here and alphabet will get incremented by one it will become d basically uh, it will get incremented in terms of ascii value but uh, that gives me d so here our control will reach into the next line with the help of this code so our control will reach here and again i will get incremented by one i will become four okay uh, and uh, i have already calculated this value this is five i is uh, i is again less than or equal to five because this is four so again this block will get executed j is again initialized to one so i will rub this first okay this is j okay j will get again initialized to one okay now is j less than or equal to i yes j is one is less than this four so this line of code will get executed where it will print the value of c that is d 
and D will get printed. So J will get incremented again. It will become two and the condition is still true. And this line will get executed again. We will print D here again and some space uh, uh, after that again j will get incremented by one it will become three and three is less than or equal to this four so this line will get executed again and d will get printed again after that this three will become four and four is equal to this time this, this is still true condition is still true because this is four is equal to four and this alphabet d will get again printed here and some space after that it will become 5 and now the condition becomes false this 5 is greater than this 4 now so this condition becomes false and this block will not get executed this time now alphabet is again incremented so it will become e okay our control will reach into the new line we are here and after that i will get incremented by 1 it will become 5 now 5 uh, we have calculated this value already that is 5 5 is equal to 5 the condition is still true because i should be less than or equal to this is this time this is equal to and condition is still true j is again initialized to 1 j is less than or equal to i this is less than this 5 so this condition this line will get executed five number of times till it becomes six so i will write here what is uh, in this alphabet that will get printed five number of times this is e so e will get printed one some space two some space three some space four some space five so this will get printed and this j will become two three four five and six and at this six this condition is false because this j should be less than or equal to i at this point of time j is 6 and i is 5 it is greater than this uh, j is greater than this i it is not less than or equal to this i so condition becomes false now it will not execute uh, this line it will go here and increment this alphabet to f okay slash new line here new line will occur after that i will get incremented by 1 i will become 6 okay now uh, we have already calculated this value as 5 but this is 6 so the condition is false now uh, this for th it will not enter into this block now and it will end okay and we have got our result now we will see um, our program how it runs now we will run it enter an uppercase character you want to print in the last row i will write e enter so you can see our result so that is it and don't forget to subscribe my channel industry technologies thanks for watching